the resistance band alternating reverse lunge. Now we can do this single sided or alternating. I'm showing you alternating here. Reverse, single side is gonna be exactly the same as we do one side and then the other, but I wanna want to show you the alternating version as well and how to get in and out of the band. So first and foremost, one of the things I love about the resistance band for any exercise is the variable resistance. As I get lower into the more vulnerable position, the weight is going to be lighter. And a lot of people really struggle in the beginning with any kind of a lunge because they have tight quads. So when I step back into the split squat position, I'm in this loaded position, this is the vulnerable position, my knee down, I'm highly stretched, okay? And if I have a really tight quad or hip flexor, you might feel some pain here, especially down in that knee. You feel a lot if you're really tight quads. So that's where foam rolling and stretching comes into play. And then we add load, it starts to get more challenging, right? So we're at a point where we can do body weight, no problem, but then we start adding load. The nice thing is we're gonna have the least amount of load at the bottom, and then the most at the top as that band stretches. That variable resistance is really joint friendly. Very, very knee friendly. This is a great way to develop your lunging patterns, uh, your, your split squat and your reverse lunge. Uh, that's how I did that. Now, when we do, let me show you the, uh, just a couple of things about this. First, the setup. So just step in one foot on, curl the weight up. I like to put the hands through and then like this. Okay, so in this position here, band's coming up on the shoulder, it's comfortable here, arms up. Now when you start to get a heavier band, you may find it's forcing you down. That's kind of part of the exercise here. Like a goblet squat, the band is going to force you to have to be upright. Now what you might find I'll do is I'll put the thumbs here and open the chest to set back with a heavier band. That works really well also, okay? So we're in this position here, and then we're just gonna step back into our reverse lunge. And if I'm doing alternating, I'm just gonna step in, quick transition, pull the other leg out, and back, okay? Just nice, smooth transition, in and out. Breathing-wise, just like any reverse lunge, inhale down, you can even, even inhale, and then hold at the bottom, and then exhale up, okay? We're here, and then we're gonna exhale, drive through, Stop that foot into the band. We don't want to push off the back foot. We're trying to actually load. The resistance is coming down. We want to load this glute. We want to push through the floor. So push your foot right through that band. Step up and give that butt a squeeze. Now that you've got the band, maximum resistance at the top. Squeeze that butt hard. Take advantage of that high resistance at the top. And then the nice low resistance at the bottom. That's the band reverse lunge or alternating reverse lunge.